Hello, good evening. My name is Dave Gagne. I'm the town administrator here for the town of West Bridgewater. And I'm going to provide you a preview for the upcoming Board of Selectmen's meeting, which is scheduled for April 19th at 7 p.m. in their meeting room at the town hall, as it always is on the first and third Wednesday of every month. Um, on the agenda, first will be in reference to our antique license renewals. Most renewals in town think of food and restaurant are done at the calendar year. However, antique licenses are always done from May 1st. They run May 1 to April 30th. So those renewals will be before the Board of Selectmen. Uh, Warren Turner, who has been a long time uh, election warden for the town, is retiring. And so the Selectmen will accept his resignation. And then he, is being, he is, has a person to request taking his place who happens to be his son, Peter. Um, Beth Anderson will be resigning from the ADA committee. And Southeast Regional School will have their budget presentation before the board. And then after that, the Board of Selectmen will then review and approve the FY18 operational budget, which will start on July 1. Just as a moment to let you know the process, the Board of Selectmen will approve the budget. The Finance Committee will continue their review and vote on the budgets over the next couple of weeks. And that is the budget that will go before you, the townspeople, at the town meeting in June, currently scheduled for June 12th. Uh, there are two items on the agenda from Selectman Lawrence. One is a discussion about the street signs, currently our center of town are all maroon. The rest of the town are green and white. The discussion is should we continue to have maroon and white throughout the entire town or just do it in the center of town. And then we used to at the transfer station, we used to do a swap shop where people could leave their belongings and swap them for others. There'll be a discussion before the board as to whether or not they would like to re-entertain doing that. For anybody that was aware of our meeting last week is that there was a discussion with a handful of residents from Mayola's Ave and that discussion will continue. And then after that, under my report, I will provide an update as to where we stand on the potential purchase of Riverbend Golf Course. On that note, in order to purchase the golf course and go forward with it, it does require a town meeting vote. That town meeting is scheduled for this Thursday, April, 13, April 20th, here at the Middle School High School Auditorium, and it will be at 7 p.m. There will be three articles. Basically, the agenda for that evening is three items. Item one will be to purchase the golf course. And because it is a land purchase, state law is, is it requires a two-thirds vote. So a simple majority will not carry that vote. It does require a two-thirds. For people who are interested, we did have a public hearing this past Thursday. It lasted about two and a half hours. There's some very good questions. And Selectman Kinahan and myself provide a lot of information pertaining to it. We have provided that information in its PowerPoint form on the town's website. All you have to do is under the town's website, you'll go under government. On the bottom, you'll see it says town meeting. Click on town meeting. On the left-hand side, you'll see a link for April 20th town meeting. Uh, click on that link, and then in the middle of it, it will say click here for the special, for the PowerPoint presentation. And below that, we put the video in its entirety on there as well. It is a big purchase. It will have long-term ramifications for the town, whether we purchase it or not. And therefore, I think the right thing to do and the best thing to do is if you have a moment, watch the video, read the PowerPoint, collect the facts, and you'll be able to make your decision based on that. Article 2 will establish a bylaw to be able to create the account to manage the golf course. And Article 3 is a perfunctory vote required by state law to set the upper limit. Please note that if Article 1 does not receive the two-thirds majority, Article 2 and Article 3 will no longer be needed, and therefore town meeting will dissolve after, the, after Article 1, assuming it does not receive two-thirds. If it does receive two-thirds, Article 2 and Article 3 will be discussed, and those are simple majority votes. Thank you for watching. As always, you can watch this preview, along with all the other ones that we have done in the past, under West Bridgewater TV on its YouTube page. Again, it is your town. This gives you an opportunity to be able to provide the information to you so that way you know exactly what's going on and how to vote at future meetings. Thank you very much, and I hope you have a good evening.